I might be the worst golfer ever to play golf on this channel. Four! I'm on the next fairway. <laughs> oh, there you are, that's a good shot. How many lessons you have in tomorrow? Straight left. Is it three? Oh, oh yeah. There's the stinger. Where yeah, is it? golf mates, here's the stinger. It's gone further back. Yes, the rumours are true. We've had Liam Harrison in from Golf Mates. When I used to play well, I had a draw. Simple as that. You're moving like a block. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't want you to look at the club when you grip it. There you go. Oh, you worked it out yourself. <laughs> and I'm proud to say he's one of the first people to use our new Zen GRF Infinity Board. Just get a sense for that little crack at the bottom. Like a little like whipping the asset. Keep your mind now on where that club head is. And it's safe to say it did the trick. And he struck it well again. Good oh, and shot. that is absolutely bashed. Is it it perfect? Oh my God, I'll move out the shot. Straight tracer. down the middle. He's been out in Dubai, and if you're a golf mate and an avid follower of his channel, you'll have seen the transformation in his performance. All oh, this is on the pin. And he's struck it great again. Best he's done it well. That's the best saying you've hit in months. How he's gone from a fade to a draw, and he's shooting under par. I've got a lot of distance. I've lost the left to right. Oh, is this it great? He's really made a change to his game, taken the clutter, the thoughts away. This lad, Mr. Zen, has got me having no swing thoughts and just hitting the ball. And he's really enjoying his golf. Go on, baby. Go on. Go on, Go on baby. For more information on our new training aid and how you could win one, skip to the end. But for now, big thank you to Liam for making the journey over. And if you haven't already, Check out his YouTube channel, Golf Mates. Subscribe, comment, because you're going to see the video from today's lesson. And to watch the full uncut version, just follow the link in the description and enjoy the video, guys. Let's see if we can have a bit of Zen magic for the lesson with Zen Golf. If you want to see bits of that lesson, you have to do with your comments. All I see is a draw, and I'm not going to draw five. So we get you drawing, we get you drawing the ball, starting it right, drawing it right, which we'll get you doing, then. You, can, you start to see it and then you start to believe and then you upward spiral and something changes emotionally and you're starting to create really powerful memories. This is what, this is why you play sport. So when you have got all that going on around you with all your cameramen and have we got enough time, have we, can I, have we got enough time to say this before a group are pushing up, bloody hell, coming up. As soon as you turn around and go back to that golf ball, that doesn't matter anymore. It will be because you'll suddenly, you'll, it's like driving your car. Right, you're driving your car, and when you're driving your car, you can be multitasking on a very high level. You might not even feel, you might feel stressed. You've got loads of things going on. Just had a phone call off missus. Someone's not turned up. Someone is, you're running late. You're having a coffee, you turn radio over. There's stuff going on, but you drive your car perfectly. You drive your car, you're in flow. But there's all this noise going on, yet you, the task at hand is, 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 uh, is achieved without even thinking about it. And then, but as soon as you start to shift your attention onto any of these things, okay, so you've shifted your field of view, you've moved, you've shifted your attention, suddenly you've, you've, you've changed your intention. You're, not long, you're no longer driving your car, you're now trying to pick your cup up. Mm. Now, as soon as you shift your attention and that starts to become your intention, you've now become disconnected from what you originally intended. And this is, a, this is essentially a car crash now. So it's like you are driving that car with your senses. So you, you, you're looking, feeling, moving. Yes, you have a driving lesson initially. People tell you how to drive the car, but you don't tell you how to move to drive the car. They don't tell you how to push the pedals. They don't tell you how to turn the wheel. They just say, this is how it works. This is what you need to do. And then you find your own style. And you find your own way of doing it, which is proficient. I didn't know we started. <laughs> this is so important. You see, we don't need <laughs> We don't need to continue having driving lessons for the rest of our life. Of course. But that's what golfers are doing. Yeah, of course we are. They're having driving lessons. I, I'm one of these, I start playing bad right, but I don't want to have a lesson. And um, carry on playing yeah, bad, yeah. better have a lesson. Well, if you're driving your but car... But then again, though, I don't have time to go and practice. No. Some, I got to say that summer practice, you could tell them the game. Yeah. It improved massively. Yeah. And obviously, when you start playing all right, stop practicing. But... It depends how you learn. 
So if you learn, most golfers on a driving range are learning like the revising for the A-levels or the GCSEs. It's like drilling, learning parrot fashion. What happens after you've done your GCSEs? You don't remember any of it because it's not meaningful to you. So you've done something, you've put yourself through it, you've, gr you've ground it out. People even talk about, I'm grinding it on the driving range, I'm grinding it. They're drilling, 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 thinking this is gonna create a repetitive motion and they're doing the same thing all the time. So they're not adapting, they're doing the same thing. And then suddenly, when the outcome isn't there anymore, i.e. the drill, I've just got to achieve this drill, suddenly you need to apply it, okay? Now you're applying what you've learned at school. Suddenly it's like, oh, I can forget all that stuff I've learned at school. Actually, I need a different set of skills. And this is what people do in our driving range. They're, they're practicing something that actually is not resonant with what is required out there with the game. Well, the golf swing just needs intention. And what people are doing is they're shifting their attention internally and they're thinking about where they are and they're using videos and things like this which just add more noise because the body doesn't need this we didn't we've been hitting throwing kicking things for hundreds of thousands of years the body the human evolution has equipped us with this innate skill and we're doing the complete opposite when we go on a driving range we're starting to we're starting to think about positions and if you think about on a 240 frame per second camera and the swing is 0.8 seconds you've got about what 200 12 frames or something like that in from there to there and people are talking about three or four frames of that 212 and they're static and saying you've got to be here but what that requires is a whole it requires the other 208 nine frames per second you have to keep going back for more information what's the next bit what's the next bit what's the next bit so it's not empowering you as an individual like football you could not play you might not play football for years but we go out there and have a kick about you can be all right of course so, man. You're not going to go. Oh, you're already down the wind. Well, he's a Bolton fan, I don't know. You're not going to go into YouTube and go, I haven't played golf football for years, I need to go and look out, learn how to kick a ball again, or ride a bike, or throw a ball, or play tennis, or play table tennis, or badminton, or we can go and have a game. And we might not be Federer and Nadal, but we can go and have a knockabout. If you learn to ride the bike, you go and ride the bike. Okay? In golf, we're not really embracing this organic process we're trying to we're thinking very much systematically like a plus b equals c when actually movement's not like that movement is so variable we're all different sizes but it's like we're all trying to fit in the same pair of trousers it's like we all want the same movement and we all think there's a certain movement to play a draw yet you only have to look at all the world's top players and they all do it different there is no one grip there is no one stance the body will itself it itself optimizes so what you have to do is not try and create more stability you actually have to create more turbulence and chaos in the body will start to react to that challenge. And you mentioned earlier that you want, you want to draw it. That's all I use. When I use play well, I have a draw. Simple as that. That's all I see on the tee, still, to this day. <laughs> Five years on. So the mindset's Daughter. there, but the skill set, oh, it's not there. It is there, because it was, because you used to do it. The tour players that I have come in and stuff, it's like when you get a rip in it, it's like, how does it feel? And a lot of them say it's like it did when I was a kid when they got to that level when they were really tip top as an amateur and then they went into the pro ranks and then they started to have to think they have to somehow change the technique or suddenly become professional but they've already possessed everything they need at the end of the day the golf shot's your imagination and your golf swing's a feeling and it's matching a feeling to what you see and if the feeling doesn't match then you're probably going to get a disparity between the outcome and what you intended and that's the interference i'm interested in we'll get you warmed up what well, i we're going to hit a medium iron You're always feeling safe when in, in your lesson. It's like it's like putting the stabilizers on. If you get a good shot, that's great, but it's not real life. Well, you've just seen real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Final one. My ass is not going down target, and yeah. I'm like that. Okay, right. That's in, but I might be wrong. Might be right. That's what it feels. So, what in your mind do you do to minimise that, or to if you need to hit a draw? What do you do? What have you? What goes through your mind when you're hitting this ball? When you're hitting this ball now, what goes through your mind? I've got nothing, my mind's gone. Any, any target when you're going? I'm just trying to try left of that net in there, that ball. Just left of the net? Yeah. Okay. And any shape in your mind when you're hitting? Or any shape of the ball? No. Okay. Right. Simple. <laughs> so if you're playing if you're playing darts, yeah. do you just go like up to the board and just go, and if someone says to you where you're going, just go for the board. Throwing the dart at the board is a very different action to going for a treble 20. 
And if you've got one just in below the treble 20, uh, just, just in the 20, and you want to get to where you start moving to try and get it in, because there's real purpose. So your intention is at the heart of it. And it's the intention that's driving your movement. So we need to have more clarity on what we're doing. If you can do it. Ball <laughs> <laughs> oh, start somewhere. Exactly. Most people don't feel comfortable with the golf swing. So we're going to see what happens in your swing. Contrary to what people think, see the graph goes down. Mm -hmm. As we swing back, we actually unload. We don't load, we unload. So in golf, we naturally unload, we're ready to then load. Unload. And we rotate. We're going this way to go that way. Now what's really interesting here, we're rotating clockwise, but I want you to look at that white line. Look at the direction that rotates. Can you see where it's going? It's anti-clockwise. Yeah. It's done this. So you're creating forces from the ground, as, as soon as you take this club away, that are actually counter to the forces the body wants to, the body needs to rotate. So you're creating, you're creating conflict already. You're not creating the forces from the ground, so you have to go to the upper body. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna rotate straight away. And where does your hand path go in your golf swing? It goes left. And no matter what you think to try and direct it to the right, it can't happen because in order to hit that golf ball a distance to get speed to the club, that's the mechanism your body's employing to get that club at speed. So it's creating this torque from the upper body. What's going to be really interesting is when we inject torque into the system from the ground, how much different your swing will feel through the whole sequence, and you'll actually start to develop a sequence, because at the minute it's like you're moving like a block. Yeah, I agree with that. If the body's a block, how slow it moves. You can't speed up, it's a block. But if you break down that block into lots of blocks, so now lots of different segments, all those segments are moving, but they're all moving as part of the sequence. The movement you're creating, Liam, is Basically, it's essentially just creating the same release pattern every time. What we've got to do, we're going to see what happens to your body when we start to just introduce rotation from the ground. And then you, you'll start to recognise a sequence. Just a few twists, Liam. So, back to the, back to the jiving days. Well, both says, because <laughs> you'll remember. We know the bird. How old are you? 42. 42. How old are you? We're all around the same age. There we go. I'm a Barbie girl. Come from Rome. What do you want to do? Just twist. Come on. Just swish the club from me back and up and down, like a pendulum. Notice your feet want to twist the opposite way when you yeah, the way then, yeah. Now that was that counter talk that you normally create. Right. Your body wanted to move in the opposite direction. Of oh, but you need to go in the right. Anyway. Yeah, so twist twist to go right, twist to go left. And just let the club head swing freely, so there's like a little snap at the bottom like a pendulum. Now you've got the weight swinging. You feel that? Yeah. Keep your mind now on where that club head is. Feel the path it's making, like an arc. Just direct the arc over here for me. See so if you're going to throw this club, that's it. So you've now got the club swinging off the body. As soon yeah. as we create torque in the swing from the ground, it's chaos in the system. Oh, yeah, my Lord. I'm trying to follow me out, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Need some soft play mats around here. Now follow me this way, so this will be more into a fade arc across the body, this is familiar territory. And what we're going to do, we're going to move over into this space. Look how your body movement changes, particularly when we go higher and shift your attention higher. So now your release pattern changes. Just put your left hand on the club as well now. So if you're not experiencing this space when you want to hit a draw, you're probably not going to hit a draw. Yeah, no, I have experienced that. I know. I don't hit the ball, I'm not even looking that way, but I know where my arms probably around here and stuff. Look how the follow through looks now. So someone who just saw your follow through could probably have a good guess at what shot you just played. As opposed to your normal sway, if someone said, what shot do you think Liam's just played? Well, he's probably trying to play a fade. Crap one normal. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, now you've got a place where you can start to recognise where you need to go to for the draw. We need to spend some time in there and let the body know it's comfortable. Very static, I'm looking now. You know I'm on here now, I'm like, yeah, yeah. this is all, it's not been working for a long time. This has been redundant in your, in your movement map. It's not been a, it's not been recognisable, it's kind of, it's not being used very often. But your knees and heels move like this here. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's why I <laughs> dance. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got talk through the ground. And notice how you rock the board with the swing. Notice what moves first. You'll notice it in motion. What leads the board, the board moves. Mm -hmm. So your pressure moves first and the plug reacts. Okay. So I want you to increase that time lapse between when you bang the board and when you feel the plug swish through. Slow it right down, just let your wrists swing up and down. So we're, we're saying to swing, notice as soon as you swing, we said half a swing, notice what you did. Straight up. Use your whole arm from your shoulder. Whereas if this was a stick and I said just switch the stick, you'd be like, you wouldn't go with your whole arm because that's the golf swing concept. As soon as you pick the club up, it's you've got such powerful movements attached to this club that as soon as you pick it up, there's like a default pattern that you go to. Whereas what I want you to do now is break that cycle. We're going to show that circuit and just let your wrist swing the club. So you can pass it, but now use the bang of the board to create momentum. So let your weight shift, pass it, boom. Nice and soft, just really, just get a sense for that little crack at the bottom. Like a little, it's like a whip in the, pass it. Very good. So we're just facing path. Look at that finish now, different feel with the body, isn't it? Good. Now that's awesome, okay? We've got a big path to the right. It's not fading off massive, so we know your path's miles to the right. Face is just open, okay? But we don't close the face here. So, I want you to stand back on the carpet there, Liam. Mm -hmm. Now what I want you to do, I don't want you to look at the club when you grip it. Right. Okay, you don't look at your hands when you grip anything. You look at where you're going. So what I want you to do now is I want you to Look where you want to go, <coughs> and I want you to just hold the club in your left hand for me. So just switch hands without looking, and just you're just going to look where you're swinging, and just swing and feel the draw, and just let your hand go to where it feels comfortable on the on the grip, just to make that that free swinging action. So just feel that draw. Just like that's it. So you've got a nice. You can feel the snap of the club. And you can make that snap as late as you want. Just go to wherever it feels comfortable to swing that club out there. And then don't move a muscle now. Bring your club back, but don't move your grip. Keep your grip tight, 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 tight. Put where your body wants to grip it. That's how you should be gripping the club. We've not told your body how to grip it, it's telling us. So things like your grip, your stance, all the alignments, they emerge naturally out of the intention. We wanted to swing the club that way for a draw. Your body's saying this is how we grip it, so we can use the wrist limb. Just put your right hand on now, and now just make a few swings back and forth. Don't we? Don't change your grip. The first thing you do when you go to a golf club is you look at your grip. Hands are touched for that, don't Because you've been taught to probably grip stance and all that stuff at some point. What you've just done to your body is you put it into a place where it might not actually want to be naturally. But your wrist, we've just found out, it can't move freely with the grip you have because you changed it. If it was perfect, you'd have kept it. But to play a draw swing. Your grip had to change. So for your wrist to have its full functional range for whatever we need to do here, that's the grip. And even though you knew it was right, even though it, that's where your body took you, you, tried, you looked down and tried to change it. So when you grip your golf club for the draw, I want you to be looking where you're going. And I want you to be making some waggles with the draw swing. So just have a few waggles, but don't look at your grip. You don't even need to check your club face. Okay, your club face will automatically organize itself because so I don't even want you, you looked at the club then. Did I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Start, I guess. So this is the thing, if you go to the driving range, you could be having a lesson which is shifting awareness, but the problem is we go through the same habitual behavior without recognizing it and we get the same outcome. No other sport, you have to keep checking your body. Is my foot in the right place? Is my, it's like you look and you go. This is the game, this is our shot. So I want you to be looking that way and just grip the club for me. And waggle it. Oh my God. Yeah, and make a few little, don't look at it, just feel it. Make a few little draw swings, little tiny draw waggles. Even just make little, little tiny waggles just on the draw. Yeah, that's it. Shift your weight from side to side as you're doing it. Keep your grip pressure firm. So it's a little, you can do it a little bit lower. Hold your well, hands I feel like the grip's come off the yeah. well, that's, so what, that's a bother of mine, isn't that's it? That's all right, so your grip's not allowing your wrist to move. So to move your wrist, your grip's not right. So. 
for you. Everyone's grip's different. Okay, so we've got to find the right grip for you that's going to let you get this release pattern. That's the only thing that's holding you back now from this draw. But more over, isn't it? It's more, yeah. In yeah. golfing terms, stronger, <laughs> but it's not about that. Strong weak, it's got bad connotations in mind. That's no, it's right for me. It's right for you. There's no bad or good, there's no right or wrong. There's just movement. There's your movement, and we've got to find it. We'll play a few shots, and you go through that. Don't check your grip. So, there you go. You <laughs> Straight to check the grip. <laughs> What we've just done is on a on a practice ground. You could have been practicing your stuff for a few for thirty seconds. You go to the range, go to the mat, get a ball. You look down, all oh, that's just gone. The it's way lost. you think, see, all that we're going to do is put it a bit more stronger. Yeah, that's all we're going to do. Yeah, but it's not not the way to do it because you did it visually. Right. Okay. It's got to be done through feel. Right. Because your vision should be over there. Because your grip should be reacting to you looking over there, not you looking at the grip. You look there to get to get your grip and your stance. You don't look at your grip. You can look at your grip after, no problem. You've already got that, but you've done it through a natural process. Let's play a shot now. Just set, don't move your grip, keep it where it was, even though further over. Yeah, there's a draw though. <laughs> Started on the net, drawing back up. Feel that draw waggle. Move your body, yeah, for the draw. Move around and feel that draw arc. And then off you go, you've got it. You don't change anything, you're in there. You just let you feel the arc. Oh, it was fly. You're yeah. just releasing hands a bit. Look how far that's gone. With no effort. Okay. You're releasing the club, but you're not doing it by flicking and all this stuff and trying to manipulate. It's how your body wants to play a draw. You, you're a natural draw of the ball, but you're not a fade of the ball. You've been playing a fade and you're not a fader. Look how easy that is to draw it. Um, do your waggle, your waggle's important, and then moving around. Yeah, so you're adapting. That's it. And then just play, play your draw shot now, you know where you're going. Draw. People try and release grip tension. You don't need to release grip tension. You want to grip this thing firm. Grip it firm. There you go, look. Draw. Feel different. Different, yeah. Strange. I want to whack all the balls this way, we'll be honest. Awesome. <laughs> Back to like being the kid. Yeah. I want to hit balls. I want to play around with it. I want to hit big draws. Now, this means something different. You play it like that. Just watch it. Watch it. Different release, one it, that? Yeah, yeah. Don't look at the grip. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep slapping the wrist, aren't I? Yeah. I? This is where I have to be on you because I've got to tussle the conscious mind, otherwise you're not going to let the subconscious perform. So now just move around. That's it, I'm, I'm on your side. That's it. Move around with your body to feel that draw arc. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so open your face. Yeah, I'm not opening my face, so I'm not. So you've got to do that. Because your face is short, so you've okay. got to, your body's trying to go Because you said don't look at your foot. <laughs> yeah, but the feel the face moving that. Do you look at your foot when you're pointing your foot? No. Now, if your clubs, when you waggle the club and you look where you're going. I'm not opening my face yet, then. Just, just open it. Just open it. But, but you feel that grip. Feel the grip and feel the face open. So the, the face will point where you want it to go. You don't have to look at it. That's it. And now go for it. There you go. Starts right, draws back. I feel like there's a lot of move. Could you do all that on the team playing golf? Or? Yeah, because when you look back at this video, you're moving, you, it's not going to look how you, what you're sensing. You know, so I feel like I've really go, let's just hit the ball. Because you've been swinging static, static. Rigid. rigid, totally rigid, in a straight jacket, not, not, not allowing yourself freedom to move, play big draws, little draws, and get confident, become confident, opening the face and knowing. Don't matter because that's not where I'm. That's not where the ball's flying. I'm not swinging with the face. I'm swinging across the face. It's funny we've got a lad on the channel. It's called Old One Pat. He's been like yeah. cat one. Right, so he opens the face for a draw. There you go. Functional draw. But I say to him, that's not right. But obviously you were right. But yeah. I knew we were always right. It's a functional draw. He's creating this these these uh, conditions naturally. And he gets down, doesn't he? I've seen him. He just gets oh, down. He, oh, he does. As soon as he does that, that. gone. So what's he doing? He's reacting. He's reacting. He sees a yeah, shot. Yeah, he's pretty honestly. He, he sets that up. He does that. As soon as that foot goes down. So what's he done? Obviously, to his own tempo, he's moving from side to side. What's he doing? Oh, and he's doing this. He is actually. He's doing his doing own this. way. Yeah, he's doing it, and he's doing this. Because what's he doing? He walks and he waggles it, and then he goes like that. Bang, and he's gone. You asked him about his golf swing. I bet he couldn't tell you anything about it. He did not. 
Exactly. Just does it. Exactly. Just does it. And look how he plays at his age. And it's like, and he knows where the ball's going. So it's like, pretty much, just the dispersion's tight. I know he doesn't, obviously we don't hit it, he doesn't hit it like he does when he was probably a lot younger, but it's, as in distance-wise, but it doesn't matter. He gets a really good strike, he controls his ball, he can play good golf, play off a good handicap. He's doing all this, in the moment. Without knowing. Without realising it. But he's probably played other sports in his past, and he's just using, he's drawing upon that skill and he's applied it to golf. No golf lessons, I bet. Just plays, just adapts. You need a bit of what he's got in his approach. I don't we all mean, do, don't we? Yeah, we, yeah. Do. we all do. We all need a bit of that OMP, basically, because what we need is we need to become instinctive with the task. We need to see what we're doing and move and react. That doesn't mean doubt yourself, because as soon as the doubt creeps in, negative self-talk, you start questioning things, oh, am I here, am I there? And before you know it, you've become so disconnected from your target, you're playing golf swing now, and you're not playing golf. Old man Pat's playing golf. You're, you've been kind of, not in, in your own way, you've been playing golf swing, not not in, not intentionally, but as soon as you look at that, that's playing golf swing, because it's like, I've got to check this, got to check this, do this. Suddenly now, you're swinging by numbers. There's a distance that's starting to emerge between you and the game. And eventually, over time, this just becomes distorted. Like at the beginning of the lesson, you went, I'm just aiming for that left of the net. Now, you said to me, I want to aim right of the net and finish left. So because your skill is go is improving, you switched your senses on to what was out there and you thought, you challenged yourself, I want to start it out there and draw it back. So you become more engaged in the target. So now you've got synergy between you and the target. You're like, I can feel, my, it's like a magnet. I can feel how this ball's going to move it in and I can feel myself play it. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a different way of playing. Well, it's, it is a different way of playing. But it's, it's how you play with the sport. No, I agree with that. It's football, you just do it, don't you? Of course, mm -hmm. every sport that you play half decent, it's a sport you think about that you probably struggle with because you're, we're looking at detailed information and it's stifling us. And it's, it creates such a, a high mental load that we can't actually just put a ball down and kick it, which just feels like freedom of expression. It's just... Do you know what Pat's just said somewhere? In a video, on. this is no coincidence. Sevi's talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> I ought to have a picture of old man Pat, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Pat's just and he said, I don't get these people who get over the ball and all like that and take ages to hit the ball. Because yeah. end of the day, they're hitting the ball, just hit it. And you know the guys who do look like they're taking the time over the ball? They might be, but in their mind, okay, I'm not, I'm not speaking for all these guys who do it, but they are reacting. So it's like they're not static, they're moving and reacting all the time. So even though they're here, it's like in their mind there's a natural trigger, which is the shot, it's where I'm going. So to them, they're doing old man, they're doing an old man pat routine, but they're just taking more time doing it. There you go. See that look like I want it. Yeah. Finish is, finish is way different as well. You've got loads of hip rotation you have that you're not using. Look how much your feet are twisting, that's hip rotation, that's like all this movement you've just got to use, that range, and you just don't use it and you swing. Probably a lot of power as well, lost, mm -hmm. isn't it? Rotation, rotation of speed, yeah. Let the club just freewheel into your finish, Liam. That, it takes you. The club takes you, now it's here. Oh. You, you, you're moving to a golf shot now. I mean, you don't want it that much, would you? But I know what you're saying, it's... Well, there's a tree there, you would. <laughs> yeah, that's not a massive tree. I mean, it depends what you used to play in. If you're not used to it, off it way, <laughs> slice that way. So now, but now you know the tolerances between the face and the path. Yeah, I can actually. You can control that. You've well, got, yeah, you I don't need to open it as much, maybe, and still give it a bit. It's like you've got influence over this now. When I were a better golfer, for did all this YouTube. I had a flat back swing, and everyone used to, to say, "Oh, you've got to get open better." Or a better golfer then. Really? Miles better. So oh. I just went like that. Draw the ball. Knew where it was going, trusted it. Knew where it was going, trusted it, and you said it was ages ago. And what did I say about the tour players when they come in sometimes? When, when you're you when you're a kid. Of well, course, I was a kid when I was playing really well. It's in there in the system. You're letting it happen, and it's it's all you've got to do now is just develop a sense for it. Don't get in its way and try and control it. It's like, how does it feel this? How, how am I actually creating this? Well, I'm, you're creating this by looking where you want to go, feeling it, and moving around, and you get the draw. It's like, why change something that's that simple? So you, I don't want to know, so I've had this thing where... It's so simple. Everyone who watches me and I know, before I take my shot, do they do that with me? So no. I don't know if I'm doing that at the moment. No, no. Make sure that's, that's an help, isn't it? <laughs>
because yeah. you're just letting your body react, Liam, yeah, and your body reacts really well. It wants I don't, that's another one, I don't feel stable, I just feel like, oi. Because you've been too rigid, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. When you look on the video, drop me a message when you've watched it, and like, just tell me what by, tell me what feedback you're getting from looking at your swing. Wow. That's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, you've hit 95% shots, draws. Yeah. And normally you'd hit probably 99% fades, but not trying to fade it. That's the just swing you recognise. Exactly, yeah. You're actually maybe or trying to control it, just about got it straight and lost holes of power and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I agree. Lovely. It's a gorgeous fly to me. What life cycles? I don't know what's next in this. Or is it done by someone who can drive or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've not had a good drive in about six months. Really? No, I've not had a good drive in a long time. It's the same. Uh, with the driver. What life? I've not had a good drive for ages. Ages. And if I have, it's just hands got away with the timing. I ain't spanked my drive for ages. The twisting of your body swings them out. You know, like the flying chairs at the fun fair, that carousel? Your arms just getting thrown out. Just let them go. Don't do it. <laughs> just look at me as you do it. Don't look down. Just let your arms slap against I've got this up, them stirring me out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> He's biting him, isn't it? <laughs> You've got him now. <laughs> Is it keep now? It's not easy, this. Was there you go. There yeah, you go. Yeah, just yeah. Re just, it's just relaxing your eyes. There we go. There you go. Oh, wait, yeah. okay. That's the sequence. Now out tonight. Don't force it. Wait, yeah. There you go. Now you've got it, Liam. That's it's not easy, this. Make, this is yeah. really hard. I mean, it's making it look dumb, but it's hard. Yeah, it's, it's like difficult. running with an egg on a spoon. It's not yeah. easy. No, is it? it's not. These are movement building blocks. It's the mind driving the body, and you've just been getting in the way. Now just take the set up over there and just have a few swings. To the draw. That's it. Feel the feel it. Move around and then just use your body for the draw. Use that little swing, that draw place. Good. Oh, oh, oh now big hooker. And it's in. Yeah. Listen, you're, you're used to look. You're used to look. You're used to look. <laughs> <back off. You're laughs> it went. Hook, it hooked off. Hook left. So now you've got the. You've got a sequence. There we go. Hello, draw. Must feel different. Yeah, that did. Yeah, felt like I said no effort. You know, but I don't know. But I'm just thinking. I felt like yeah. So that, I, you know, that movement you're making is what you associate with a golf swing. Oh, through. what do you say? Mr. <laughs> 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 I can't say it, man. Shabba, 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 you're telling me my legs are getting used. I'm yeah. feeling they're all wobbly, but that's mm. because they've never been used for yeah. months. Yes. Or maybe longer than months. To be honest. Yes, exactly. Does that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? Oh. Is perfect. That's bang on it. That is literally landing on it. That, that, that was awesome. The difference, Liam, when you see that swing to the ones earlier, is you let the thing go. Now, if you want to hit it and get that zip, you don't try harder and put the force in this end. It's like throwing a ball. Yeah, because as soon as I put the force on, that's. That's when it goes, way, yeah, it? and that's when you get your old pattern. But that's like, I want to throw the ball further, I'm going to put the effort in here. Well, you don't. If you yeah. want to throw the ball further, mm -hmm. you, put the, you increase your forces here. So now, this is still reacting to the system the same way, it's just you've got more force coming through the body. You know when we're doing this? I quite like that, because it's just keeping me... I, I'm actually enjoying doing that, it was free me up or whatever it does. I don't know, just yeah. <laughs> you're feeling, and also you, you're just pushing the boundaries. And feeling maybe, it. yeah, maybe. Feeling yeah. the boundaries. That's it. Just wait for it this time. Let the late, let the hit be even later. Wait for the snap. Well played. Cool. You waited for it. Yeah. So, for, so say that you normally get cut. So not a cap bit. I'm not going to go. Out. Or boxing day now, but there's no cameras, so it'd be a good thing for me to have a feel and play around. Then, if it goes out, it goes out. Good to have a play around. Stand. There you go. Oh. You worked it out yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's a good place to be when you're practicing because you're figuring it out. 
through, and then you're, you're figuring it out and adjusting your feel, which is good because you kind of got moving into the right places to shift your ball flight. So your ball flight's shifting in a positive direction. You're moving closer to what you intended. Yeah. Instead of trying something and it's like haywire and it's like suddenly, oh, I get it. And then it's gone again and gone again. And then I get it. It's always going to be like that then. All right. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Well done. Cheers, shots. Talk to more like that. We'll let you come for a nap, lad. I think they're all right. It's like I said, it was easy. So what is the new GRF Infinity Board? Well, it's a complete training system that I've designed over years and years of research. And it's going to fast track you to your natural golf swing. So what you see in the videos, you can practice at home and on the range. You're going to experience those forces, transfer them into your golf swing, because not only do you get the training system, you also get access to the download with all the exercises on. And this is what really separates this from any other training system on the market. So if you want to find out more, follow the link in the description to the shop account, lots more details, and there you'll see examples of the drills included in the download as part of the package.